Hey everyone, welcome back. I uh, just wanted to do a little update here, a quick one. Won't be so long on the uh, Ranger 2995 DXCF here. Um, lost the amplifier in the radio uh, a couple of weeks ago. Just uh, went to key up and when I keyed up it just died. Uh, basically lost all power. Now I'm currently running on stock power, uh, which is quite nice. You know, it's okay. It's fine. I'm uh, talking some DX and talking locally. Um, of course, with standard power, you're looking at probably anywhere from 4 to 12 watts or maybe a bit more from the, um, the potential of the radio itself. Um, I do have the amplifier removed, uh, the heat sink and all, and I have it just connected so that I can make communication uh, used radio uh, in stock power. Here's the uh, the power wires for the uh, that hooks up to the power supply here, and there's some junction plugins here that are undone. And I just have the uh, coaxial uh, wires hooked up uh, basically in series or in parallel, or whatever, through the amp so that the antenna receives the signal and it goes out into the antenna through the cable. But yeah, so just running stock power. The um, as you can see, these uh, these MOSFETs here, uh, they are a specific brand. They looks like they look like a um, a MOSFET that was sourced by Ranger uh, RT1. They're available, I think, through through Ranger. You can buy them. But I have a uh, a bunch of. Uh, IRF 520s, uh, apparently um, from uh, Visay. Is that Visay? Is that correct? The proper pronunciation of the brand? Genuine uh, Visay uh, MOSFETs on the way. I think there's, I think about five, I believe, just in case one might be uh, funky. So, anyway, we're still operating the, uh, the Ranger radio. And uh, I guess the next video will be uh, the replacement of these uh, MOSFETs once they come in. Uh, it's gonna, they're in Canada, uh, but they're just they're not uh, delivered. Uh, so I'm, I'm expecting them any day now. So yeah, so that's going to be interesting. N never did uh, do uh, MOSFETs before, such as these uh, in an amplifier. So I have my. Uh, my tools ready to go. Uh, soldering capabilities hopefully will be on par, and I have uh, thermal paste and uh, you know whatever is necessary. And then of course there's going to be the biasing of the amp uh, after it is uh, reassembled and set up to go. So that'll be video number two. But I just wanted to give you an update. That's where we are with the. Uh, radio. I have other radios here of course that I could be um, using to uh, communicate but I, I just chose to leave this one on the desk and in in, in, the, in the queue basically. Uh, no DX today sadly and uh, very little uh, local communications but uh, I'm sure either of that can change anytime. Anyway thanks for watching. Look forward to um, part two of this video when I tackle the amplifier and try to get this Radio back up and running 100%. Thanks for watching, and uh, if I don't get back before Christmas, and I suspect I do, but if not, Merry Christmas to you, and a very prosperous New Year. We'll be chatting very soon.